was Islamophobic if I said that I don't think that Muhammad uh, heard voices of an archangel. It also happens to be true, in my opinion, and you call it Islamophobic. Um, you, you, you're just using a well, term which I, is an utterly I, I, Douglas, term. Douglas, I didn't define Islamophobia, so don't put words in my mouth. Nobody if has go, defined could, Islamophobia. Well, you were trying to. If we go to it's Paris, well go ahead, go ahead, go to Paris, go ahead. Well, I... Uh, Actually, I'm completely in agreement with Douglas about, you know, this mysterious notion of Islamophobia because you, one ought to be able to criticize religion the way Voltaire criticized the Catholic religion in France. Exactly. And there's no reason why, right. you know, it let's should be listen. sacred and we let's should not listen. be able to criticize Since Islam. Since we don't have someone speaking from the Muslim community here, let's listen to the president of the French Council of Islam and how he sees this issue. Let's give him a hear. Muslims have a feeling that they're being discriminated against on this point. The religion has become the subject of a debate. Everyone is focusing on the Muslim religion. We don't understand this obsession. Okay, since that was a Frenchman, let's go to Paris. How do you respond to that community speaking out for itself? Well, first of all, you know, who represent what's, what, what, which community? And I'm, I'm not even sure, but the feeling that there are, there are reactions about Islam are very different because I think these are perfectly legit. And uh, racism, which is something entirely different, which is punishable by law in France extremely stringently. A racist talk is forbidden in France. We have fewer uh, uh, um, sort of uh, freedoms of speech because the French have decided to tackle racism. Uh, and in terms of specific uh, um, um, discrimination against Muslims. They are illegal. We have a number of authorities that fight against this. We have Muslim ministers in the cabinet. We have a Muslim minister in charge of specifically uh, uh, equalities and, and uh, uh, parity in, in society. Uh, I think, you know, the two things should be, should be very, okay. very sort of Elizabeth, and Elizabeth, we're going to go to a quick break. After the, our break, we'll continue our discussion on the burqa intolerance. Stay with our team. came to power hand in hand and left an orange trace in Ukraine's history. Scandals, fostering nationalism, and lax morals. Six years on, presidential candidates promise to turn the tide. Changes of what color will Ukrainian people choose this time? Ukraine 2010, the orange legacy on RT. Wealthy British scion Zach Wilson, an investment activist, Markets, finance, scandal. Find out what's really happening to the global economy with Max Kaiser. For a no-holds-barred look at the global financial headlines, tune in to Kaiser Report on RT. Crosstalk. I'm Peter Lavelle. To remind you, we're discussing whether the state has the right to forbid Muslim women to wear the burqa. But before, let's see if this is an issue in multi-confessional Russia. Islam's place in Europe is becoming more problematic. Last July, French President Nicolas Sarkozy said the burqa, a garment covering the head or entire body, was an affront to human and civil rights, a direct challenge to the estimated 2,000 burqa wears in France. After Switzerland voted to ban minarets, the tall spires surrounding mosques, the legality of anti-Islamic legislation is being questioned more than ever. In Russia, though, this issue hasn't been high on the agenda. 
A Russian Supreme Court decision giving Muslims permission to have their passport photos taken while wearing hijabs, a garment covering the head but revealing the face, sparked considerable controversy among the Russian public. According to an opinion poll, 64% opposed the decision, while only 36% approved of it. Thus, Russians oppose passport photo formats being amended to correspond with religious views. Back to you, Peter. Thank you for that. I'd like to go to Paris uh, again. Uh, why has the French decided that secularization is more important than freedom of expression on this issue? First of all, you, you decide that it's for secularis secularism, which is a basic principle of the French Republic and has been for over two centuries, and it's got to do with freedom of expression. We're not talking here about freedom of expression because uh, I'd like to go into the feminist issue of the Burka. And uh, what basically, the reason why women are supposed to hide themselves entirely in, in this extremist vision of Islam is that otherwise they're going to inflame men. And this is the same kind of reasoning that says that if a woman is raped, it's her fault. And actually, well, we have seen. Uh, recently Anne Elizabeth, in, in Anne Elizabeth, other countries what, what position, that women who are raped what, are being what, made what guilty What position are you in to happens? say this is an extreme form of Islam? Why do you say that? You're, 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 you're saying, you're saying in in what, through it, your eyes that is extreme. Well, where's your tolerance then? From France of all places, okay? I, I think I'm that's really sorry, the crux of it The idea that all. half the population should be hiding behind a veil because it would excite it's not the half eyes the population. Um, of the it's, other half I, we, is unspeakable. It's what? Uh, less than 2,000 people in You're France. A man. You don't know what it feels like. Oh, I you're think a that, man. You have that's no a idea bit of. Like. That, you're, you're, I would like you're just, people you're, you're, to look, you're trading apples for oranges right here. That's not fair. That's not a, lo it's not a logical argument. Douglas, if you wanted to jump in there. It is well, a logical just, argument. No, I don't agree. Men, women I don't and men are all. equal, and it, that's a basic and about, fundamental right. We're talking about different values. We're talking about religious values, democratic values, secularization. This is what we're talking about. This is not democratic, it is not religious, it is oppressing women, and it is telling them that they are. And uh, what about the women that want to wear the burqa? What about the women that want to wear the burqa? You're telling them You'd how to dress. You'd have to find me one. I would You'd like to, to speak to those one. women Douglas, outside the view Douglas, of their husbands, fathers, and brothers. D Douglas, go ahead. It is, look, it is true that, um, uh, that, that, that from the outset here, you, you, you've put a sort of false dichotomy. Uh, one of the things you asked is, uh, who are we to say that this is extreme or fundamentalist? I, any rational observer, I think, could notice this, that a belief system which believes that women have to be covered throughout their adult years in a black sack and distrusts the male half of the population. After all, the, uh, the reasoning goes that those of us who are men c could not help ourselves seeing even a well, bit of you know, female you know, flesh. Douglas, we wouldn't, Douglas, we wouldn't want how to many, how finished, many, so we couldn't jump on it. I myself how, how many, how, how many trust Islamic myself my friends countries, rather better How many that. Islamic countries have you been to? Uh, quite a lot. I'm well, going to another have, one next week. And Why? I have too. I think a lot of people... Okay, uh, let's uh, play basketball uh, No, no, no. What, what I'm saying is a lot of I people of Islam, Muslims, find it offensive that women walk around nude on the beach. They find that extremely yeah, but, offensive, but, but, okay? But, but, so, I mean, who's to say what's offensive beach. and what's extreme, okay? That, well, I'll explain the lens to you. you put I'll explain through to you. Go ahead. Okay, I'll explain to you. Well, we could which have is that all societies have... And, 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 wait, please... Douglas, and I promise. All okay. societies have all societies have certain norms, values, and so on. Uh, in uh, Western European countries, we believe that women are equal citizens, and we believe that men can be trusted not to rape women if they see a bit of their flesh. Uh, we have a different dress code on this. It is entirely acceptable uh, uh, for societies to decide uh, what goes on within them and that there are boundaries beyond which you cannot go. My society, as I, I stressed earlier, already has made that decision. I cannot go into certain public buildings and places or indeed spend my whole life with a crash helmet on my head, nor could I do so with a balaclava. My society also decides, rightly or wrongly, depending on your view, that I can't walk around naked all the time. And in fact, there's a naked rambler who's been trying to walk around Britain for years and has been